Hey, this is Russ. What's for lunch? <laughs> What's for dinner? Are you guys finding yourself in the same situation? I mean, you could. I guess you can go and order things and have it brought in or go out and do a takeout. Uh, you should be supporting your local restaurants, I suppose. But for me, I've been uh, cooking uh, most of our lunches and dinners or finding things to use for lunch and dinner. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> so what's for lunch today? Well, I'm making instant pot chicken. Now you might be wondering, why don't you show us a video of you making that? Here's, here's why I don't do that. And, and it may be a while before I do it. Uh, my wife is still working at home. And because of that, uh, I, don't like, I don't like to make a lot of noise while she's working. She's upstairs, uh, hidden into one of our bedrooms up there with the door closed. I am downstairs in my office uh, with my door closed uh, making these videos. <laughs> and the Instant Pot is running right now, actually. I'll, I'll show you some photos of before and after, after everything's done when I edit this all together. So, um, so yeah, I, I don't want to do a live video and talk through all that stuff while she's working. Uh, because, you know, if I'm in the kitchen and she's just in the bedroom upstairs, even with the door closed, she'll hear all that. And I have to set up all the lights and the cameras and, and everything. So until she goes back to the office, um, yeah, I'm not going to be doing any videos showing you um, how I'm doing it and what I'm doing. But I can, you know, I can talk about it. So here's what I basically did with the, uh, with the chicken. Um, I put some uh, oil on the chicken. Um, I didn't have any olive oil or anything like that. We don't use a whole lot of olive oil, so I just... Uh, patted it down with vegetable oil and then I put some uh, some rub on there I put uh, Weber's uh, kickin chicken <laughs> rub I'll show you a photo of that and um, I just sprinkled it on the outside and a little bit on the inside of the chicken now this stuff is pretty powerful stuff I've, I've used kickin chicken rub um, while barbecuing things outside uh, on the chicken and my original goal was I was gonna go outside and do a beer can chicken which I've done in the past. I'll show you a photo of that too, just so at least you can see what it looked like when I actually did do it. And although today is a nice day, I'm just too lazy to go out to do it. <laughs> so I said, well, what's the fastest and easiest way to make this chicken? So I uh, decided, well, I'm just gonna stick it in the Instant Pot and see how it comes out. Now, I've done other things in the Instant Pot, but this is, I think, the first time I've done a whole chicken this way. And, um, I think I might even stick the chicken under the broiler just to crisp up the skin a little bit, but I'm still debating on that. If I do it, I'll put a photo up uh, because uh, with the rub and everything, that's pretty powerful smelling stuff. I don't know if I want to smell up the whole house. Maybe I won't do that. I think we'll, we'll just leave it as it is. And uh, we have some leftover white rice, rice, so we'll just uh, have some white rice with uh, whatever comes out on this kick and chicken. Now, this is about the easiest thing you can do in an instant pot. I put about a, about a cup of water inside the pot. I uh, put the chicken after it was rubbed down uh, on, on the little... Uh, uh, the little thing that pulls out the chicken easier for you, and, and then that's it. <laughs> uh, then uh, you do six minutes for every pound. This is about a three pound chicken. I did weigh it, and uh, so that means 18 minutes. Now, 18 minutes doesn't really mean 18 minutes. The, 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 the Instant Pot has to come up to pressure. Once it comes up to pressure, then you've got 18 minutes from that point. And then you either do a fast release of the, uh, of the pressure or you naturally release it. So I'm just going to let it sit in there for maybe two, three minutes. And then I'll do a fast release of the pressure. And then we'll call it a day. <laughs> Anyways, um, it should come out pretty good. If it doesn't, I'll do a follow-up video and let you guys know. If you don't hear a follow-up video or see a follow-up video from me about it, you know it came out okay. I'll take some photos too, so that, that way you guys can see the final product, <laughs> all right? Anyways, um, what are you guys doing for uh, lunches and dinner? Are you coming into the point of making, you know, what, what do we do? How do we, how do we go about it? What's the easiest way to do it? Or do you go all out and make the, you know, fanciest uh, meals you can? For me, um, people always say, well, you're such a good cook, Russ, you know, you do it. No, I'm not. <laughs> 
I'm not a good cook. I'm a lazy cook, all right? I've got a lot of stuff. I've got a lot of cast iron uh, things. I've got a lot of toys and stuff, but uh, I'm a lazy cook. I, I want to find the fastest and easiest way to do it, and that's how I usually cook. So um, following me, is it the best thing to do? Yeah, if you're a lazy person, you should follow what I do. If you're if you're a perfectionist, yeah, maybe you want to find someone else, you know, to follow for for those type of recipes. But no, I I do it. I mean, a rub, come on, you can't get any easier than that. I'm not even mixing the ingredients. <laughs> I'm just shaking it on the chicken. <laughs> so if you like that kind of cooking, yeah, definitely follow along with me because those are the type of things I look for. What's fast, easy, and how can I get it done? And how fast can I get it done? That's that's. The way Russ puts things together. All right. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the share button, and hit the hit, hit all the buttons. Okay. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys next time.